Hello, this is Oliver Blair again from Mass University and this time I'm going to give you a quick overview of setting up your view templates in Revit 2015 architecture. So with, with the views in Revit, how it works is um, you've got all your different views and you can um, define, if you, if you sort of scroll down here on the uh, properties of that view, you can sort of see if you scroll down there is um, view template and you can sort of set up each view individually and sort of adjust the, and tweak those properties individually per view but really what you want to do is set up a template so you can apply that to all the views in your drawing set so everything lines up and everything looks like this, the same has the same sort of language to it okay so if I go back to level one so what you want to do is go up here um, you want to go to view and then view templates and then we want to go create template from current view let's try that and we'll call this um, test template one and we can go ok and we can sort of see comes up with this new dialogue it says view templates discipline filter all view type filter floor structural area plans so and right now it's test template one so if we go to all view type all discipline filter all it'll be down the bottom there as well this is our new one so it lists them all alphabetically which is kind of annoying but whatever test template one okay cool so if I go okay did it apply it automatically no, it's being annoying. So if I click on view template none, then I can select that view template that we've just made and go OK. And if I go to, for example, the section, so this is view template none. If I go in here as well, all test template one. So it's kind of like a style file that you can apply to multiple different things and if you change that template it'll apply to all those different things you've applied it to so you don't need to go to all your different views because for example if imagine if you had like a hundred different details and you want to update one thing about them instead of doing that a hundred times you can just do it one in your template so let's try that now so if we go template yep yeah make sure it's on that one that we've applied test template now we can change the stuff in here and it'll pl apply to not only the section but also the floor plan as well so we can sort of say the view scale 1 to 50 yeah and we can actually um, say if we wanted it across multiple different views but we wanted some of those views to be different scales we can actually uncheck that I can go apply and so for example we want this um, cancel if we want this section to be at 125 that's all good we're still on the template and this floor plan is still at 1 to 50 and it's still on the template as well you can sort of see there but if I um, if I change that template Excuse me. If I change the template to include 1 to 50, it means that all of the views will be at 1 to 50. Does that make sense? So now we can um, we know what this include means. We can sort of have it you know per view or per template. So I'll just make them all per template so that everything lines up. All right, cool. And then now it's just a case of going through all the options and you can sort of figure it all out. Figure out you know, how do you want your um, different views to look and you know for example you might want to turn off this shadows and because you might want um, the elevations to have shadows on them but not your plans so you can sort of play around with that a little bit but how do we get this section looking good with the line weights okay let's have a look so VG stands for uh, visibility slash graphics so if I click on edit <coughs> comes up with this 
new dialogue with all the stuff in it. It looks really complicated. There's tabs and stuff going on. But let's break it down. So there's model categories, annotation categories, analytical model categories, and also imported stuff categories and filters. So the main difference is model is stuff that's actually three-dimensional. So they're your families, they're your physical um, things that you're modeling in 3D. So if you draw a wall, that's a type of model. Annotation is <coughs> everything else. So detail lines, dimension lines, um, level markers, um, all that sort of stuff. So all the graphics that go over top that are not part of the actual design. And there's also analytical, which is more advanced stuff, but also imported categories is kind of important. So if you make a SketchUp model, put it into a family and import it, all of that stuff will be in here. And it can even bring the layers in as well, which is quite cool. You can define individually. But let's just stick with model categories. <coughs> and what I want to change is the kind of how this looks. And this is, you know, a wall. So it's not any of this stuff. It's not an electrical fixture. It'll be all the way down the bottom. It'll be under walls. And you can sort of see there's there's some more stuff inside it. Common edges, hidden in lines, blah 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 blah. Okay, cool. So now we've found out you know, found our wall thing. And we can sort of see there's different columns, lines, patterns, transparency, lines, patterns of the cut. And also half to half tone and then detail level, etc. So what we want to do is make I guess the cut lines a bit thicker. They're too like thin right now. And maybe even like put a pattern in it. So let's have a look. Lines override. So you can sort of see here there's no override, it's like default. It's whatever it's gonna be by default. But what we can do we can change this so we can make it super fat. Make it a different colour, but black should be alright. Pattern we'll just leave it. So okay. Well, way too thick. <coughs> Let's have a look. Maybe it's like seven then. Still a bit chunky. But you sort of get the idea. Now you can sort of go in and you can adjust things quite to a, a fine level. And then maybe we want a, uh, a pattern for the cut as well. Visible color pattern. Pattern, maybe uh, just a solid fill. And then uh, would that be just black if I go black? Oh, it's kind of like a grey. So the default is kind of like a grey. We can go black. Okay. Apply. Okay. Cool. So that's looking a bit different already. And if we go back to our floor plan, you can sort of see it's being cut as well. So it's it's using the same style. So it's really great to have everything start to line up and start to look and feel the same. So that should give you a bit more guidance in how to uh, change your view templates in Revit, starting to get things a bit more less default looking. Okay, cheers.